Welcome to the Invite Health Podcast, where our degreed healthcare professionals are excited to offer you the most important health and wellness information you need to make informed choices about your health. You can learn more about the products discussed in each of these episodes and all that Invite Health has to offer at www.invitehealth.com slash podcast. First time customers can use promo code podcast at checkout for an additional 15% off your first purchase. Let's get started. Dry, itchy, scaly skin, nobody likes to deal with it. So today I want to talk about some different nutrients that you can be taking both internally as well as what you can be applying to your skin topically because it's this two-pronged approach that generally yields you the most effective way to, to go about handling the the harshness of the weather-related dry skin that so many people are affected by each and every winter. So I am Amanda Williams, MD, MPH, and I want to talk about wintertime skin. We know that this time of year really poses a major problem because we know that the humidity levels outside as well as inside are generally very low. And so when we are not able to retain enough moisture within the skin itself, then this can create a really problematic series of events that basically occurs. So keeping moisture in the skin is essential when it comes to avoiding that dryness, that flaking, the itching. Some people experience more significant cracking of the skin. Um, Sometimes maybe it's just you, you can look down and you can almost see the dead skin cells ready to just slough right off. And so we understand the anatomy of the skin, which has the three different distinct layers that each play a very important role in maintaining the hydration of the skin. So you have the innermost layer, which has your subcutaneous fat, and that provides the insulation or the energy um, storage capabilities of the skin. And then above that, you have your uh, dermis layer. And so that dermis layer contains the blood vessels and the nerves, your sweat and oil glands, as well as your hair follicles. And then you have that top layer. This is what we can actually see. That's your epidermis. That's the main protective part of the skin, your barrier, one would say. And this is the level where all of that drying actually occurs. And so what can we be doing? Well, we want to be able to hydrate from the inside out. So going through those three different layers, so we can penetrate up to that epidermis. But we also want to make sure that we do the appropriate thing when it comes to the topical approach to dry skin. So multimodal approach and what you can actually be doing. So first we think about how can we hydrate from the inside out. And this is where the use of omega-3 fatty acids becomes very handy. So when we think about things like fish oil, krill oil, flax, it would be very advantageous to consider taking higher amounts of your supplemental omega-3s during those harsher winter weather months. Now, there are enormous amount of research studies out there that show this. There was a study where they published the findings of the use of omega-3 fatty acids in the dermatological setting. This was published in the journal known as the Cutaneous Med Surge Journal. Now, they were assessing the relationship between diet and skin diseases, and they were looking at the role that omega-3 fatty acids could potentially play in these different dermatological conditions. So when you think about um, atopic dermatitis, when you look at psoriasis, when you think about acne, for example, and we know that all of these have a common theme, which is inflammation. So they know that the omega-3 certainly can help to ease that inflammation and allow those three layers of the skin to really work more synergistically together. Well, we also recognize that those omega-3 fatty acids do a heck of a job when it comes to the hydrating effect. 
So we think about them being an oil, which is why it makes sense. The Journal of Dermatological Sciences showed that fish oil supplementation could reduce the level of dryness as well as the pruritus, which is the itchiness of the skin. And the way that it is doing that, once again, is through that support of those three different layers. Because when we think about the the nerves, we think about the blood vessels, all of the different components that make up those three layers of the skin, allowing that fish oil supplementation to really reduce that transepidural water loss. And that's where we lose all of that hydration. And then you have that the blood flow that's impacted. So all of these things can then drive up not only the appearance of dry skin, but the symptoms that go along with that. So that itchiness. And for many people, that's one of the the biggest problems is when they have dry skin is that it is incredibly irritating because they want to continuously scratch their skin. So we know if they can find the studies and show how oral supplementation of omega-3 fatty acids do so much when it comes to atopic dermatitis and psoriasis and eczema, then clearly we know that with seasonal changes of the loss of hydration within the epidermis, we know that the omega-3s are going to help significantly with that as well. But we can also look at a very important vitamin, which when taken via oral supplementation also is very, very powerful, and that's vitamin E. Now, you've probably heard of vitamin E as being a lotion that you can apply to the skin topically to help with the improvement of the look of the skin, but also with wound healing, which is great. We know this, and I always say, you know, topical is completely fine when we're thinking about vitamin E, but I wanna think about the oral implications of this. So in the Journal of Research, medicine um, sciences, they were looking at the impact of oral supplementation of vitamin E on the treatment, once again, of atopic dermatitis and how this powerful antioxidant had this ability to actually decrease the serum levels of IgE or immunoglobulin E. We know immunoglobulin E is a driver for that itchiness of the skin, because then we have the mast cell release of histamine. And we know that immunoglobulin E is, you know, directly in line with that. So in this study, they took a group of patients who had atopic dermatitis that were categorized in the mild to moderate um, range. And they gave them 400 international units of vitamin E daily for four months. And they were looking at the severity of all of their symptoms, including that itchiness, as well as the dry component of the skin as well. And what they found was vitamin E can improve the symptoms and the quality of life in people who have atopic dermatitis. So this is a really good way, once again, when we think about how we can use these fats So we look at vitamin E, that's a fat-soluble vitamin. We look at our omega-3 fatty acids, that is an essential fatty acid, those oils, how much of a difference they can make when it comes to that reestablishment within the epidermal layer of the hydration of the skin itself. So on top of that, we already know all of the other benefits that go along with supplementation of both vitamin E and omega-3 fatty acids when we think about the scope of all of the different types of disease states that the body can be going through when it comes to helping to support healthy cholesterol levels, targeting oxidative stress, so many different ways in which just those two nutrients alone do so much. But the fact that we can use them during those harsher winter months when the air is much drier and you have that forced heat coming into the house, which of course is going to create that situation where we have less humidity or more dryness within the air can lead to that um, skin drying out even faster. So if we can offset that by taking our omega-3s and taking some natural vitamin E, that would be quite advantageous. Now let's think about what we can be doing topically. 
One of the last things that you ever want to do is put chemicals on your skin when your skin is already irritated. And we know that so many of the different formulations that you can find in your local big box stores, that's what it is. It's just chemicals that are fragrance that attract us to want to use them on our skin. But it actually can make things worse because we have no idea what some of those chemicals are and how much more inflammation and irritation they can actually create within the skin's layers. So I want to talk about our protective hand cream. I love to talk about this formulation during the colder months because while it's called the protective hand cream, this is something that can be used everywhere on the body. You can use it on your legs, you can use it on your arms. This is a very thick, all natural formulation. So let me just kind of walk through some of the nutrients. Remember, this has no parabens, no phthalates, no alcohols in this. This is all essential oils and key vitamins and minerals that come from nature. So it has green tea in it, which we know that the green tea does a wonderful job for fending off oxidative stress and UV coming from the sun, which in the winter we're not usually as concerned about that. But nonetheless, we know we're getting the power of those catechins to help support those three different layers of our skin. This also contains in it aloe. It has vitamin E. Remember I said vitamin E topically as well as orally? Very good idea. Vitamin C. This contains vitamin C, and we know vitamin C is key to allowing the collagen to properly um, connect. So when we look at the cross-linking of collagen, that is reliant on vitamin C. So putting vitamin C in a topical cream really can help to enhance the, the collagen formation of the skin itself. This also has in it rosemary extract and chamomile. So it's incredibly hydrating. And during these months where you may be more prone to drying of the skin, I highly, highly advise considering that protective hand cream. And like, as I mentioned, you can use it anywhere. It has such a lovely natural scent to it. So it's not a quote unquote fragrant because we have no idea what's in those. This is coming from natural oils and vitamins and fruit extracts. And all of those, when we combine them together, really allows for this powerful rehydration capability for the skin. So now we have a couple of different tips. We can use our protective hand cream. We can use that everywhere, arms, legs, your feet, doesn't matter. And we can also utilize our omega-3 fatty acids, so extra fish oil or extra krill oil. Or if you're looking for that vegetarian option, adding in extra flax. So we have the flax lignin, and we also have the organic flax powder, and then natural vitamin E. So that is the multimodal approach to seasonal-induced dry skin. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Invite Health Podcast. Remember, you can find all of our episodes for free wherever you listen to podcasts or by visiting invitehealth.com slash podcast. Now, do make sure that you subscribe and you leave us a review. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we will see you next time for another episode of the Invite Health Podcast.